Linda Thielfeldt, and I'm here today to talk about fun and easy feathers. And I have a long arm lifeline for you, especially those of you that may be beginners or struggling with your feathers, they're not exactly looking the way you'd like. I want to share with you a quick and easy method that I use on a lot of quilts. This is a little sample I put together for my Fearless Feather classes. And this, using high contrasting thread, really shows you the feathers. And you can see that I have filled this block completely with some pretty nice looking feathers. And I want to show you how we use them in a border. Now this is a little bit different. Um, this is a little bit larger, but it's the same method that we, we showed on that little purple sample. And I want to show you how to quilt this today. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to lay down a spine. Something for the feathers to actually be attached to. So I'm using my Ultimate Spine Vine Ruler and I'm just going to put a little meandering line down. And this normally would be centered, you know, in your border or wherever your uh, situation calls for. And I'm going to bring the machine over. And I'm going to start at the opposite end of the directions that I want, the direction I want my feathers to go. So, I'm just going to follow that line as closely as I can. Now remember, it's a guideline. Okay, now we're back down here at the bottom. And again, don't worry if you go off the line a little bit. It doesn't matter at all. So we're going to start the first one. And the first one starts with a traditional regular feather shape. So off we go. So we got our first one in. Now I'm going to put a little one inside because that's going to mirror what we're doing. And this actually, my friend Ricky named this, this actually looks kind of like a cat's claw. So I call these my cat's claw feathers. And I'm just making my way along here. Always coming back down to the spine. As I'm quilting, you'll notice I'm not going beyond, say about 10 o'clock, if we were looking at the face of a clock. Because I want to leave room to come back. The cool thing about this is that there's no backtracking, there's no marking, and it goes really, really fast. It's a lot of fun. I've even had beginners who've never quilted feathers before have good success with this the first time out. And we're just going to end this as if it were a standalone motif. So I'm just going to throw one up in the middle, put another one inside so it kind of looks like all the other ones I created and I'm going to stop. Once you're here, you have to decide, am I going to sew back down this line and begin again? Am I going to trim and travel back down that line and start sewing again? And if you're a beginner, I would recommend that you actually cut the thread. Okay, pull up your bobbin, cut that thread, come back down here, and start again. So again, same process at the bottom. We're going to throw one in, put one inside that, and here we go. wobble like I just did there, don't worry about that too much because really what we're going for is the overall aesthetic. I find with students a lot of times, especially beginners, they're so intimidated with perfection and they, they get frustrated and it takes all the joy out of it. So just let yourself have a few of those little mistakes, you know. Feathers are patterned after birds and you know I would bet that every single bird feather is not the same so don't be too hard on yourself, just have fun with it. So you can see how quick and easy these go. They're very forgiving, there's no backtracking. Give it a try. You might be surprised at what you could achieve your first time out. I'm Linda Thielfeldt, and remember, Gamble helps you realize your dream.